Hi, I'm Dustin Mason from Performance Lexus in St. Catharines. And today I want to go over my 10 favorite features of the all new Lexus TX. The front end styling of the TX has a presence to it and is more unique than any of the other ones in the lineup and I think that's why I like it. Everything from the size of the grill and the frameless sort of spindle F-Sport grill that's integrated into that bumper and also the daytime running lights are more inverted and just a little bit bigger than some of the other models in the lineup and it just has that presence to it. So getting into the third row is super easy with this little quick release button right here in the second row that releases it. And then I can just slide in and bring the seat back towards me. Having a big enough back seat is important, but also getting into it, especially when you're six foot one, is even more important because what's the point of a useful back seat if you can't get in it? So in the third row, not only do I have a lot of space, being six foot one, I'm super, super comfortable. I have lots of leg room, lots of headroom, but I also have a lot of amenities. Things like a massive window to look out of instead of just looking through like a little porthole. Also, I can recline the seat on power and have room behind me to do so. I also have a tablet holder, cup holders, a USB-C, and vents that are up in the head liner to be able to give me the HVAC instead of having to like blow it from the center, which not a lot of people realize. So what makes the TX really special is that you can fit seven passengers and seven carry-on luggage. Now, I don't have seven carry-on luggages with me, but I have four and you can see how in the cargo area, it's almost like that space was specifically designed for carry-on luggage, kind of like that center overhead bin in an airplane. So sitting in the front seat, there are a lot of Lexus first. One of them is these modular cup holders that can actually come out which is great for being able to clean them, but also it opens up some room in the center so I can sort of put them in the armrest as storage and they fit perfectly in there. And then I have this new shelf that you can put your phone or just other knickknacks. And then when you're in the drive-thru getting your Starbucks, you can pull one of these out and slap it into place and have a cup holder again. And in the six passenger, there's a modular sort of whole center console in the back with cup holders and a tablet holder that you can remove and you know put anywhere you want. Also having the digital rear view mirror in the TX is super important because when you have seven passengers in the vehicle, it might be hard to see through the mirror with everybody's heads in the way and cargo, but with a flip of a switch, I can now see right out of that rear windshield. It doesn't matter who's in the car or not. And the coolest thing about the camera for the digital rear view camera is up here is where it's located, which means it's within the sweeping motion of this rear wiper. So even if it's snowing or raining, you can still see through the digital rear view mirror. Even the center armrest of the TX is well thought out and technically a Lexus first. The butterfly armrest design means if the driver or passenger are leaning on the armrest, the other person can open it up without disturbing the arm of the person next to them. And they designed it so that the opening itself is big enough to be able to grab a juice box or a Kleenex box or tissue box, whatever, to hand it to the back. But I just like that I can just stay comfortable even if someone's gotta get in the center. Also, the gauge cluster is totally different on the TX. So when using the heads-up display and being able to change what actually displays, not only are the animations different, but there's like these setup pages one, two, and three that sort of reconfigure the entire dash and gauge cluster to be a different layout with different shapes, different colors, just a whole different experience that's already preset into one, two, and three. Now I've seen this on other Lexuses where you can like move certain features and displays, but not as like a whole package like this. And I think it's genius. Let's talk about the sound system. Now Lexus used what's called pure play concept. And the reason I'm standing outside of the car to talk about this is to show you this pod here that's on the door panel. And what pure play means is getting the speakers as close to your ears as possible. And sometimes using a unity type design, meaning having multiple speakers in the same area to fill 
that sound. Also, there is a woofer in the bottom, and it's interesting because not every Mark Levinson sound system is built the same. And with the TX, having them closer to your ears just create a clearer, more fuller sound, and it doesn't really matter where you're setting the vehicle. So, my final favorite thing about the new TX is actually the way it drives. And what I mean by that is because of the four cylinder engine being so low in the frame, it doesn't handle like a big SUV. So when you're going in a corner, instead of feeling top heavy or maybe just a little overweighted, it's very well planted and feels like you're driving a much smaller and lighter wheelbase. But also the whole vehicle has been designed to have that drivability. Even the Lexus emblem is different than any other one in the lineup because it was designed to be more aerodynamic. Same with the camera for the Lexus Safety Sense can also detect snow on the ground and fine tune the all wheel drive system. So this TX actually has a very high tech and intuitive Lexus driving signature, which makes it so much better. So those are my 10 favorite things about the new Lexus TX. I'm sure as time goes on, I'm gonna have some new favorite things about it as I get to know it a little bit better. But for now, that's what I've found. Thank you for watching. I'm Dustin Mason from Performance Lexus in St. Catharines. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the new TX in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.